Hey there Virgo, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana and we're going to do something a little bit different today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle these cards and we're going to read through these cards one right after the other from the first card in the deck to the very last card in the deck and we are going to tell a story about what is going on in your life at the moment. This could be, um, it could be not, uh, it could be that it has not unfolded for you yet. It could be that you find yourself in the middle, or it could be that this has already happened for you. This is a general reading for the sign of, um, damn, who am I doing? Virgo. <laughs> Sorry, Virgo. This is a general reading for the sign of Virgo. A general reading for the sign of Virgo. It may resonate. It may not resonate, right? Uh, don't know don't know. If it doesn't, then it's just not for you. I'm not thinking of you right now. If it does, that's awesome and run with it. Of course, don't ever make a decision off of a general tarot card reading. If you would like a personal tarot card reading, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Link in the box below. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Virgo with me today, and Virgo wants to know about what's going on. What's going on in Virgo's life? What's going on? What's coming down the road? What does Virgo have to look forward to? What are some of the things that Virgo should watch out for? Spirit, if you can please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen in these cards to bring the very best messages that we can to the collective of Virgo about what's going on in their lives at this particular time, Spirit. Past, present, future. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them to Virgo in a way that Virgo can apply to their life. Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen. I'm going to shuffle two more times. I'm going to cut three times, and I'm going to pull off the top of the deck all the way through, Spirit. Please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen. All right. Justice. There is some justice. There is a message coming of justice from a King of Wands character that makes you feel defensive and is emotionally volatile. There's truth. This justice card is about truth. Let's put this over here because I think this is going to be an overall energy. There's some truth that is being spoken to you in a message. This message is this message is about a creative block. There's some truth being spoken to you in a message about blocking the creation of anything else in a relationship with a King of Wands type of character. Nine of Wands says it makes you feel defensive. It makes you feel defensive and um, on edge, on edge. King of Cups comes in and says it makes you feel emotionally volatile. The Devil card says that... Um, that this is, uh, this is um, devastating, devastating to you. The star card says, don't worry, there is hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Two of Pentacles says that you will regain your balance. But the Eight of Cups says that someone is walking away or you are walking away. The Emperor comes on top of that and talks about... Um, I think somebody who is inflexible, right? It's, it's almost like this truth was spoken and it is what it is and it is non-negotiable. The wheel says this is a turning point in your life. Ten of Wands, it's a burden and a struggle for you. The Queen of Pentacles, um, this, is, this is you, Virgo. This is you. To temperance, right? Trying to um, patience, balance, purpose, moderation temperance, trying to understand, trying to understand the six of wands. This is about a fall from grace and disrepute, trying to understand what happened, what happened. The empress, oh wow, hold up Virgo. Okay, 
So what happens here is the Empress, this truth that comes into you, is about another woman. It's about another woman that your person wants to manifest commitment with. because they have feelings for them. This puts you in an energy of the Eight of Swords, right? Eight of Swords, this is a self-imposed mental imprisonment and wondering what the fuck just happened to me? What just happened? Four of Cups inside that Ace of Swords energy contemplating and reevaluating the loneliness and loss of what you thought was going to be a Ten of Pentacles relationship. Ace of Wands says inspired actions, but now it's talking about a lack of motivation. Lack of motivation from the Prince of Cups. A lack of motivation from somebody that you were taking actions in regards to feelings with. Strength comes in and says um, that this is, you're going to need some strength because this is not easy to close out this cycle with this person because of the truth that they have spoken to you, now you need to begin to plan for your future. The Ten of Swords says that, that this is a crisis and ending a loss in your life. Four of Swords talks about contemplating and thinking. The High Priestess sitting down with your intuition and your subconscious mind, trying to work out the conflict, trying to work out the fact that you have been left out in the cold, trying to work out the conflict, the tension, the loss, the defeat, the de betrayal, the mind games. Two of Swords says you have confusion to the Six of Pentacles because you were giving and receiving until this truth was spoken to you with the King of Swords. Now you have feelings of loss, regret, disappointment, and despair. The Hermit, Virgo, comes in and, and says that you're doing some soul searching and some introspection because this truth that was spoken to you was a complete and utter tower moment in your life, in your love relationship, in your love relationship, in your your home, in in your 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 home with the six of cups. Six of Swords says it's a regretful but necessary transition and you are in serious self-protection mode when it comes to um, this, two of, this Two of Cups. You have lost stability, security, and control in a Two of Cups relationship. Nine of Cups says where there was once wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction, there is now dissatisfaction and um, greed. Seven of Pentacles says, after much reflection and assessment of your feelings, of your sense of security, you are going to take some action because of a misalignment of values and communication that has given you foresight about a third party situation, the Queen of Wands is my third party situation, about another woman, Seven of Wands challenged, overwhelmed, feel like giving up to the Prince of Pentacles. This is about assessing the landscape of your life to the Prince of Wands. It's also about feeling stuck, okay? I, and I think it's more of feeling stuck, right? I think you feel stuck to the Prince of Wands. This Prince of Wands is all about um, scattered energy and frustration because of betrayal, deceit, deception, shady behavior. The Sun card comes in and says you see things crystal clear now to the Judgment card and uh, to Judgment to the Three of Pentacles and that there is um, a, a lack of teamwork and collaboration to the Eight of Pentacles, disengaging to the Three of Swords, heartbreak, pain, sorrow, and grief. The Prince of Swords, because of some communication that has come into you. The Moon card, fear, anxiety. Seven of Cups, confusion. Four of Wands is a transition 
alchemist manifesting, trying to manifest. The alchemist is manifesting. The princess of pentacles is manifesting as well. A new opportunity, trying to figure out where you're going to go, what you're going to do, how you're going to handle this. The hangman says that you're pausing, processing, surrendering, coming out on the other side with a new perspective because while you're in that hangman energy, you are doing some um you are doing some exploration and discovery right about where it is you're going to go from this point forward the princess of swords comes in and says that you're formulating a decision making process because you are in the nine of swords intense anxiety and despair but nines are where we get things done. Nines are about fruition, attainment, and conclusion. And lo and behold, you are formulating a decision-making process while you are sitting in this pain. The nine of pentacles again, uh, I mean the nines again, to bring a culmination to the situation where there was a third party thing going on. Death comes in and says this is the ending and the fool comes in and says a brand new beginning and a brand new journey because of truth that was spoken. There you go, Virgo. I kind of hope that didn't resonate with you. But if it did, uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste.